we can be doing something now. We know where the gaps in vaccines and therapeutics are. I think there needs to be a shift in our attention towards them. Once there's a pandemic caused by an infectious disease, it's already too late. My mom was in academia for 45 plus years. She loved being in that academic space. She had my siblings and I very late in life, triplets at 51. She contracted meningococcal disease. She was misdiagnosed, which is very common for meningitis. I was 11 years old when she died, so I didn't really understand what was happening when she was sick. After my mom died, when I was 15 years old, I would speak at healthcare conventions, pharmaceutical companies, middle school health classes. I wanted to do something to honor her memory and make sure that everybody who was able to get vaccinated for this vaccine-preventable disease could, because my mom was not vaccinated. I went on my journey to be an advocate, dive into research about neglected tropical diseases. They don't receive the media attention they should be given the disease burden. What if we applied this term of celebrity power and culture to infectious diseases? Would we be able to understand the hierarchy of diseases better? Why not invest in their future now before they make it to Hollywood? This is my mom's signature. I think it's very beautiful. I actually took it from one of her books. I ripped out the first page. I do the work I do because of her. I think when you're really scared of something, the best thing you can do to protect yourself from it is to learn about it. I want to lift up the voices of others. In the domain of health and infectious diseases, there are so many populations that are disproportionately burdened. Anytime I can talk about any infectious disease, I, I'll start talking about it. Vaccines are the greatest global health invention to mankind. I love vaccines. We have the power to make these diseases popular in conversation. I'm not gonna change everybody's ideas, but I do think I can encourage people to learn more. I would call that a win. Thank <laughs> you.